Hello, relativity friends. Um, I ran into my studies of general relativity. The notation they use, it's, uh, it's quite different and it's very easy to get confused. I believe they use it because they have to write so many terms and uh, I guess they're just lazy. I don't know. It's called the Einstein summation notation. Here's a real, real brief example. The way I was taught to do vectors, you got a x, y, z in the right hand rule. You got a position vector r, which has components x, y, and z. So these are some scalars on this graph. And you've got the unit vectors i hat, j hat, k hat. Well, they changed that to just having r sub 1, r sub 2, r sub 3, that's supposed to be a 3, for the scalars, and e sub 1 hat for the unit vectors in 2 and 3. Then they write that as a sum, r vector equals a sum from n equals 1 to 3 of r sub n, e sub n hat, and then they drop the sum, and this is what you're left with. So when you see this with this, it implies there's a sum there. Um, once you keep working with it, you finally get the hang of it, but it's, uh, it's, it's tricky at first and I've gotten lost many, many times already. Here's another example of something they do. Let me move this aside. So back in the day, if I had a problem that said, I got a vector A and a vector B, I just made them up. So I got 1i, 2j, 3k, 4i, 5j, and 6k. And I wanted to cross the product of these, so A cross B is a vector. So I write down the unit vectors, i, j, k, and then I write down the components. So that's A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3. And then you block out this column and that row, and that's your i, gives this determinant, 2, 3, 5, 6, minus, is the way it works, you block out this one, this one, you got one, three, four, six. Then you block out this one and this one gives the kth component. So you got one, two, four, five. Then for the ith component, you multiply the diagonals two times six minus three times 15. So you do that all the way through. You get three i plus six j minus three k. So that's your answer to cross the product. That's not how they do it. Here's how they do it. <laughs> They say A cross B is equal to the sum of IJK equals 1 to 3 of epsilon IJK. That's supposed to be an I. IJK. The epsilon IJK is called the levi civiti permutation operator. And then they say this multiplied by A sub I, B sub J, the unit vector E of K. Now the way this works is, here's the way that I do it so I can remember it, is I write down one, two, three, and if I go in the clockwise direction, so one, two, three, or two, three, one, or three, one, two, epsilon is positive. If I go in the counterclockwise direction, three, two, one, two, one, three, one, three, two, epsilon is negative. So I've written that out here. If I or J or K repeat, or in, in, in other words, if I E11, all of those are zero. So there's zero components, you don't have to worry about them. Now, they change, once again, the I, J, K to E sub one, E sub two, E sub three hats. So, here's how you do it. A cross B, you write down the very first one, epsilon one, two, three. So that means you want the first component of A, A1, you want the second component of B, and this is for the third unit vector. So I got A1, B2, E3, hat. Let's do another one. E231 is my second one. So I've got the A2 here, I got the B3 here, and this is for the first uh, of the uh, unit vectors, E1 hat. So you do all six of these. Blah, 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 blah. Then you go back to the vectors I made, I made up, and you put down, so you know E123 is a positive one, A1 is one, B2 is five, and E3 hat, you write that down. So this is your first component. 
So you do that for each one, one, two, three. Then when you get to the third one now, they become negative. So this one becomes, so you've got three positives and three negatives. So you multiply all that out. You gather up your E1s, E2, E3s, and look what you get. You get the same answer. So you got, now remember E1 is I, et cetera. So you got the minus three I plus six J minus three K minus three I plus six J. Anyway, so it works. Now you say to yourself, and, and I did, why in the heck do you want to do all of this when this is so easy? I, I'm, you know, what's the, what's the big deal? Here's the big deal. Because in relativity, you have another dimension. You've got three spatial dimensions, X, Y, Z, and one temporal dimension, time. Time is not a constant. Time is a variable. It changes with your speed, and it changes with what gravitational the field you're in. So these matrices, each one of them, and there's many, many, many in the Einstein field equations, become four by fours, and sometimes worse. And the components, the scalar components of these matrices are oftentimes uh, nonlinear partial differential equations. So it becomes real nasty real fast. That's why they come up with these conventions for making things a lot easier to write down and to manipulate. Anyway, I thought I'd share that with you because I had to go through it and I thought it might help someone else. I'll see you later.